Whenever a smartphone launches in India, there's always this question, what is the storage type? Is it UFS 2.2 or is it UFS 3.1? And it's so random, sometimes a phone under 15,000 rupees comes with UFS 3.1 storage and a phone above 25,000 rupees comes with UFS 2.2 storage. For example, the newly launched Nothing Phone 3A, some new Moto phones and even the iQoo Z10 comes with UFS 2.2 but it's cheaper variant which is the iQoo Z10X that has UFS 3.1 storage. I mean, it's just super confusing. If UFS 3.1 is better than UFS 2.2, why are brands pushing it so hard? Is it because it's cheaper? Well, if that's the case, why are brands pushing it in the sub 15k segment and not in the 25k segment? It just doesn't make sense. Honestly, the answer is more complicated than you think. But thankfully, we have found out all the answers and let me explain it to you nice and slow. First things first, let's just understand the difference between two storage types. Just take a look at this table. You'll notice that UFS 3.1 is faster in sequential read speeds, sequential write speeds, random read write and is also more power efficient. And to put it simply, think of it as a highway where UFS 2.2 is a two-lane road while UFS 3.1 is a six-lane road. Now, whenever there's a lot of traffic, it's going to get congested and slow on this one, but it'll still be fast on this one. And in the same way, loading big files, launching games, copying files should be faster on UFS 3.1 phone than it is on UFS 2.2, right? Right? Wrong. See, theoretically, UFS 3.1 is a bed of roses, while UFS 2.2 is a bed of thorns. But when we put them to test, the results were shocking. Now, before I show you the results, let me tell you that we carefully handpicked these four phones. Two phones were running on the same Snapdragon processor, while the other two are on the same MediaTek chipset. And in the same processor set, one phone comes with UFS 3.1 storage, while the other one comes with UFS 2.2. So it's a pretty fair playing ground for all four phones. And before starting the test, we updated all the phones to their latest software version charged them to 100% and all of them were connected to the same network. First things first, benchmarks. The phones with UFS 3.1 storage scored better and also finished first. This was kind of expected. But let's move to the real world test which is installing apps because that's the first thing that you do when you get a new smartphone, right? First we installed a small app and then we installed a big app. And in both the tests, UFS 2.2 phone did surprisingly better. And in bigger apps, the difference is just huge. Now the next thing that we did is downloading and installing some games. In BJMI, Vivo with UFS 3.1 took the most amount of time. And in COD Mobile, Realme with UFS 3.1 took twice as long as CMF Phone 1, which was not at all expected. We also wanted to test side loading, so we went ahead and installed Arena Breakout, and here also, it was the same result. I know what you must be thinking, it could be a one-off thing, maybe the internet connection was bad, and to be honest, we also thought the same, so we did a lot more tests just to be sure. The next test that we did is of the boot up and the restart times, and for the first time, Vivo actually won, but Realme on the other hand performed very poorly. Now one thing where storage type is known to make a lot of difference is the app loading time. But in our testing, UFS 2.2 was faster in most cases. We tried opening all the common apps like Instagram, Netflix, Snapchat, BGMI and even COD Mobile but in most cases UFS 2.2 phones were faster. And yeah, it was a tie for Snapdragon phones but for MediaTek phones it was an embarrassing loss. The next thing that we did is transferred a 10GB study material study material. 10GB study material from one folder to another folder in the same phone and here also nothing with UFS 2.2 performed the best while Vivo took more than 3 minutes which is just crazy slow. Now we transferred the same file from a phone to PC and then back to phone and here also Vivo did the worst but the surprising thing is that UFS 2.2 won this battle in both the scenarios. We also tested which phone can unzip faster so we gave this 2.5GB file to all of these phones and here Realme with UFS 3.1 did win but Vivo came out to be the last. I mean what is this? Now, a lot of you guys mentioned that UFS 2.2 phones tends to get slow when the storage is more than 50 to 60% filled. So we tested this scenario also. We filled all of these phones up to 90% capacity and then ran same tests again, like booting and restarting, app opening and photos loading, but the results didn't change at all. There were no big differences. After running all of these tests, there are three very important things that I learned. First of all, in all of our tests, UFS 2.2 was far more consistent than UFS 3.1. This is a major concern because it shouldn't have been the case. See, minor deviations are okay, but this huge difference makes me wonder if there's something fishy going on here. Secondly, when we disabled VRAM, which is turned on by default, the benchmark scores of Realme dropped to half and it's even less than the scores on UFS 2.2 phones, which was also not expected. Finally, in real-world tests, UFS 2.2 was winning in a lot of scenarios, but even when it was not winning, the difference was not huge. In fact, when UFS 3.1 was losing, the difference was just alarming. While unzipping and copying files, we 
video was taking almost a lifetime. Now, one thing is for sure, UFS 3.1 is not always better than UFS 2.2, but the big question is why? And I think I have an answer to that also. First of all, giving the faster storage type is half the task. Brands also need to optimize it better so that they perform better, which is clearly not the case with Realme and Vivo, and that's the reason they're not consistent and performing bad in a lot of cases. Think of it as two phones having the same camera sensor, same ISP, but still, one phone takes better photos than the other one, and that's because of the optimization. Apart from optimizations, there's one more thing that could also result in better performance in UFS 2.2 phones, and that is UMCP. Now, it's hard to tell whether a brand is using UMCP or not, only they could confirm, but this essentially means that it's a unified multi-chip package where both RAM and storage is placed in one module, and that usually results in better overall efficiency. Ultimately, here's the gist of it. Just like a 50 megapixel or 100 megapixel camera is not essentially better than a 12 megapixel camera, just like all SSDs does not give you the same transfer speeds, and just like all AMOLED screens are not always better than an LCD screen, it's the same for UFS storage also. UFS 3.1 does not essentially means that it's better than UFS 2.2, and that's just the truth of it. A lot depends on the optimizations also, and that's where the corners are cut. But having said that, brands should not take this as an excuse to give UFS 2.2 storage on phones above 25,000 rupees, because no matter what they say, it's nothing but cross-cutting. So that's it from my side. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, press that like button and share this as much as possible because this is very important. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.